When we're working with properties, one of the things that we regularly have to deal with is deep nested complex object property hierarchies. In this case, we can take a look at this application settings dependency. We can see that it has a system configuration property off of it, which has an auditing information property off of it, which has a workstation ID property off of it. The system configuration and auditing information are both complex types that have their own property structures. So how do we deal with setting up the fake object for application settings and not have null values returned back when we ask for the property system configuration or auditing information? If we don't worry about this and we get the null values back, our test will fail because of the test itself, not because of how the system under test is executing. So let's take a look at our customer service tests. And what we can see here is that we've created a fake customer repository and a fake application settings. We've gone in and we've said for that fake application settings, drive through all the hierarchy of properties to workstation ID and return back 1234 when workstation ID is actually requested. Nothing else in the rest of our test changes from a normal test. And if we go down to our assertion, we're going to see that we assert that the fake application settings, system configuration, auditing information, workstation ID was actually called. So we've done nothing whatsoever inside of this to say, set up a return value for system configuration, set up a return value for auditing information. In some other frameworks, you may have to do this, but in fake it easy, it takes care of it itself and auto mocks the property hierarchy for us. So let's go ahead and run this in debug mode and we'll take a look at what the values are of each one of those properties when they're actually inside the test. So we can see here we have our application settings and you can see it's a faked iApplication settings object. If we go and look at system configuration, you can see that it's a faked iSystem configuration object. Nowhere in our test did we create that faked object. Instead, the Fake it easy framework was able to create it automatically and say you're going to need this so that you don't get a null exception. The same thing is going to happen if we look at the auditing information. It's a faked eye auditing information object. So this auto faking that happens inside fake it easy makes it really simple for us to set up tests and not have to worry about the whole object hierarchy being built out with fake objects appropriately.